this video is going to have two parts and it's all the hacks that naturals need to know. Everything you need to know. Those hacks that are just so important. <music> Welcome back to my channel. If you're tuning in for the very first time, please take the time to like and to subscribe somewhere over there. And yeah, let's get into this video. When you do hydrate your hair, guys, um, usually, obviously, you spray um, your hair with some water. Another trick that you can actually do is add some essential oil drops. This is tea tree oil. Um, but you guys can add for lavender. You can most definitely add it into your, your water. And this um, helps um, your scalp. And some um, essential oils help your, uh, your hair grow. So you are hydrating and you're adding nutrients to your hair. So be smart about this. To lay your edges with your eco styling gel or anything, you need to use an old toothbrush. That's how I achieved my, my edges. That's how you do it. Just use an old toothbrush. No naturals. One thing we have to try and save money where we can because stuff are very expensive. And yeah, um, so I'm going to show you how you can actually make your own leave-in conditioner. Firstly, you take your normal conditioner just the conditioner that you use and your spray bottle and you add some water into it. So you, if you are going to add, let's say, two teaspoons of um, your conditioner, then you're going to have to add four teaspoons of water. And then that's how you make your own leave-in conditioner. Then it's simple, you've saved money and you don't have to be buying all these products. Something that you must do as well is to massage your scalp. Like when you're washing your scalp, even when you hydrate your hair, the thing, whenever you are putting something to your, 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 your hair, just make sure that you actually, sorry about that, make sure that you actually massage your scalp. The thing is that you stimulate your hair follicles to receive all this moisture that you're putting in. And it also feels so good. It's like that you time that you give to yourself because girl, you deserve an entire mo head massage because you're a natural so just do that when you sleep guys make sure if your hair is not like in this stage try put it in a high puff and the whole point of doing is that, that is that your actually your hair comes out better in the morning so it's not like flat everywhere it's just flat around there which is like obviously the given of the style of a high puff so when you do sleep try put your hair in a high puff not tightly because your hair has to breathe within the night so yeah that is the best thing ever when you wake up it's going to be more easy to actually get your hair done and yeah your hair won't look like it's a mess people always ask me what do i use for my high puffs and all while you get like elastic this one is even like i've used it so much it's not even stretching take like old pants or anything of that sort they usually have elastics inside so when you have an old pants or old shirt or anything that had elastic in you just cut it and use that if not then you can use the entire stocking as well like this big part of the stocking and you can use that as a hair tie it's very comfortable and it's great if you have a problem with um, dandruff and also if you on a low budget you can actually make your own um, shampoo how you do that you use some baking soda apple cider and some warm water you mix it in and the thing with apple cider it removes all the filth and the baking soda also helps with that so you have your own shampoo so if money is is running low you know you can do it yourself then um, you try and lay your edges some people don't know um, how to make them flat as possible so you can take um silk scarf you can take whatever thing that you want but for me at the moment i have a bandana with me i couldn't find my silk scarf so literally you lay your edges what i did before this is you lay your edges and you can leave them to dry like that but if you want them to look an extra on fleek you lay your edges and then you tie this down and you tighten that at the back make it tight and if let's say you're gelling your entire hair what you do then you take an entire duke Ooh. 
So you take that and then you wrap this around. So you, you protect your edges, leave it for an hour before. If you, if you don't have time, you can say 30 minutes, but your edges will be on fleek, on fleek. You need to learn to wash your brushes. The best way to wash your brushes is take some hot water, take some baking soda and vinegar and any kind of soap, maybe like sunlight, whatever it is that you want. Um, and then dip your brushes inside and leave it for five minutes. Then take out the hair and this disinfects all the disgusting stuff that we've been putting in our hair because it doesn't help you wash your hair but you brushing your hair with a dirty comb so you are making your hair dirtier at a faster pace so a trick that i actually have learned now what you do is take a hairband oh it's gonna burn like it's now <gasps> That was a, a bad decision, but yeah, look at my hairstyle now, but yeah, what you do when you wash, just put it around here like that. And then when you washing your hair and it soaks, it's, it's the water's going to fall, it's going to fall onto a band and it's not in your eyes. You need a really good detangling brush because what a detangling brush does besides the detangling it defines your curls like you'll be just combing through and it just you can already see that every single hair every piece every strand of hair <laughs> every strand of hair will be defined so get yourself a great detangling brush and the the, the bristles <laughs> english words <laughs> paid off guys make sure that it just it's just straight bristles that doesn't have that weird bullocky because that weird bullocky it will be the death of your hair so just straight bristles we gotta protect our hairline hairline and also you can also do this if you have like a patch you see sometimes hair i don't know what happens then you just have a patch where it doesn't grow hair what you do is take Black Jamaican custard oil or custard oil if this is too expensive for you. Um, and you literally, you take it, it stinks. And you can get like a tooth, your toothbrush. And then you can just do this, soak it in a bit. And then you moisturize. You, My edges are done, so I'm not going to ruin my edges. But then you literally moisturize. Let me just do it there. So you take the oil, then do that. You can do that every night. And your 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 hairline will never go missing. You won't have to play, where is my hairline? Find my hairline, where is my hairline? You won't have to play that game if you do this. And also on that patch, just dab it, dab it every night and you'll be good. You'll be good. Your hair will grow.